Hey everyone, this is Ryan from the Indie Music Academy, and you're watching another video from our 30 Days of Action series, where I share 30 music industry tips in 30 days. And today's video is actually launching on my birthday, and I wanna make it extra special for you guys, and I'm gonna go over the three essential pages that you need on your artist website. Also, some of you have been asking what kind of web builder I use, and so I'm gonna go into the back end of Kajabi, which is my web builder of choice. It's really robust and really cool, so stay tuned for that. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I don't really talk a lot about website building on this channel. I do have a couple videos about how to build an EPK, but it's more of what needs to go into an EPK, not really the technical side of how to build one. But this video is gonna have a little bit of both, and I'm gonna show you the essential pages that every artist's website needs to have. And I'm just gonna start by saying that all of this, of course, is just my opinion. And I'm not saying that this is the only way to have a good website. This is just one way, guys, and I want you to take what's gonna be useful to you, and if there's something that's not gonna be useful to you, then just don't worry about it, it's okay. I know that you guys are taking info from a bunch of sources and putting together your own plan, so you do you. Without further ado, let's dive in. So, this is my home page, and the common theme of all of the pages I'm about to show you is that each page should have one function, and that's it. If someone lands on your page, you need to make sure that there is one task and one task only. And that is not something that I made up. That's a pretty fundamental concept of user interface design. So that is a pretty undisputed fact when building websites. So on my homepage, this is my thought process. Websites are not social media. They're rarely gonna just get stumbled upon. People who come to my homepage, they already know who I am. My homepage only comes up in Google if they type in my name. So I know that they've already come from somewhere else. So the whole point of my homepage is to get them to listen to my music. So there's a couple of choices that I could have made. I could have put a SoundCloud link. I could have embedded the music onto my website specifically, but I think I'd rather get them to a platform where they can like, follow, and playlist my songs. So that's why I specifically didn't do that, and instead I'm promoting links to my streaming platforms. I'm gonna head over to the back end of my site on Kajabi, and this is what the portal looks like when you're actually building the website. Kajabi has so many additional tools. You can even host your mailing list and all of your contacts, and in addition, you can even have a membership and take payments with Kajabi, so it's a very, very powerful web builder. It's it's beyond a web builder actually. So I'm going to click over and edit my home page. I actually already have it open in a tab here. And the thing that's special about this is that I'm actually not linking to the streaming platforms themselves. Every single one of these buttons goes to the same place. So if I click on the Spotify image here, it's going to another URL on my site. This link tree page that I showed you earlier in a different video. So if I go and edit this picture, same thing. It's going to a URL to my link tree page. And that also includes this stream now button is going to link tree. So in conclusion, all of these streaming buttons are going to one page. They're going to my link tree page, which is right here. I'm gonna click over and this is my link tree page that I made in Kajabi. It's not like a brand name link tree page. I just made this myself and you can too. I'll show you how I made it. So all this is is just images with URLs to the actual profile of the streaming service. So if I click on Apple Music, this is going to music.apple.com and it's going to my actual artist profile. Same thing with Amazon, music.amazon.com. And then this last one is YouTube. It's a great catch-all and it's going to my YouTube channel. So all of these images and the buttons they're the same, they have the same links. It's just to make it really pretty. And speaking of really pretty, this looks really great in mobile too because the play button just collapses right under the logo. And so if you navigate from a social media platform, it's just gonna look really nice. Now you might be wondering, why did I not just link directly to the streaming platform from the homepage? Why did I go from the homepage to another page on the website? Isn't that an extra step that doesn't need to be there? And technically, yes, you're right, that is an extra step, but 
I'm actually pixeling all the users that come to this page with Facebook ads. There's something called a Facebook pixel, and what that does is everyone that visits this exact page, I'm pretty much just tagging them as someone who's interested in streaming my music. The reason that's important is because someone could end up on my homepage for some other reason, right? But if they click that button and they come to my Linktree page, I know that they wanted to listen to my music at some point. This is important because when you're running Facebook ads, you're going to eventually want to create a custom audience of the people who are interested in your music. This is so much better than just interest targeting, and one way to do it is by pixeling website visitors, so that's what I'm doing here on my Linktree page. All right, guys, I hope you were following that. It's kind of simple, but also confusing at the same time. But let's wrap this video up by going to the third essential page that everyone needs on their website, and that's your store. And the way that I built out this store is actually using a combination of two other services. One of them is called Printful.com, which is a print-on-demand service for pretty much any type of apparel. And the second is Shopify. I said earlier in this video that Kajabi, my web builder, also has the ability to sell stuff, but I really love how Shopify works in collaboration with Kajabi. Kajabi is just so customizable that I was able to go in here, add the custom code from Shopify, and I was able to have my products perfectly laid out the way that I wanted them. And the amazing thing about Printful is that none of these apparel items actually exist yet. It's a print-on-demand service, so if you go and select that you want a navy beanie and you add to cart and check out, Shopify is gonna notify Printful that they need to print one on demand for my customer. And they have all types of really great payment options and I don't even have to navigate to another part of my site. This window here plus this overlay is all Shopify and then the background is still my Kajabi site. So it's a really, really cool mashup and just one thing I wanna mention as well, it doesn't have to be print on demand products only. This collectible handwritten lyric product, it's just a normal product where if they buy it, I ship it. I actually have to make these on demand myself without a service, right? I have to be the one that writes it and puts it in a frame. But that's how I use Shopify with Kajabi. So just to wrap this video up with one overall conclusion, each page has one purpose and that's it. That's how I like to build my artist websites. And overall, I just think it's the best way to create a good experience for fans. They're not gonna get lost. They definitely don't need more content because they're most likely coming from social media. That's where you need to put your content, guys. Don't just bury it on your website. And then of course, like you've seen in my other videos, I also have hidden pages like my EPKs, right? So if you'll notice, it's not in my navigation anywhere, but they are on my site. So I can send these EPK links directly to playlisters, directly to bloggers, and these do have content on them. But I made an entirely other video specifically for these EPK buildouts, and I'll link them in the description below. So guys, I hope this video was really helpful to you, and if you're feeling overwhelmed by needing to build a website and hosting your mailing list, and then needing to host your product somewhere, and if you need a membership, you need a fourth service for that, I highly recommend checking out Kajabi because it's an all-in-one platform where you can build your website, you can email your list, you can even do automated emails and funnels, you can host your products and build a membership all in one login. And the amazing thing right now is that they have a free course for everyone that signs up right now using the link in the description. It's called the Kajabi 28 Day Challenge where they teach you how to make your first $1,000 online using their platform. And honestly, I cannot think of a better student than a musician because our music is digital, our products are digital, so why not learn how to make money from your music digitally. So the Kajabi 28 day challenge is going to teach you how to build your website, how to email your list, how to build memberships. And if you feel like that will be a really great fit for your music career, go ahead and click the link in the description and check it out. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Best of luck with your music careers, and I'll see you in the next one.